I don't like paedophiles, obviously. I have to establish that right now, because I, I have previously worked for the BBC and I want to distance myself from it. <laughs> is just funny mm. and the stuff that some people might take offense to i would defend it every line that i do to the hilt for other comics now you know they're self-censoring more so for work reasons etc i mean there is this kind of reverse mccarthyism which is if you have a view which is anything but slightly to the left of stalin you are a nazi or a fascist or a racist and so as a consequence they're keeping their head down and pretending that there's something else you know, you're getting old when uh, people you went to school with start dying, yeah? And you get out of breath getting rid of the bodies, you know what I mean? Just... <laughs> there are comics who I'm speaking to, and we get onto certain topics, and they go, yeah, I agree with you. But they won't say it outside of certain circles right. for fear of basically being tarred and possibly losing work. I was born in the East End, I've lived there all my life, and I moved out of London, because London was getting a bit too stabby for me. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> now, if people are coming along tonight who might be a bit more even-handed about listening to what people have to say, or indeed even right-wing, if somebody does something good, they should be congratulated for it, and you shouldn't just oppose it because it happens to be of a different ideology to yours. But yeah, for the audiences, it's got to be good for them as well, because maybe they feel it's safe to come here and have right. a laugh. I drive many drivers here. Yeah. yeah. I just think the other day, have you done everything like that when you're driving down the motorway, right? Uh, minding your own business, and suddenly you've got kids waving out the back windows, isn't it? like that. <laughs> And you just don't know what to do, do you? You don't know where to look, right? <laughs> Got a bit of a dilemma, do you? You think to me, you think to yourself, shall I just ignore this, right? Or shall I pull over and put them back in the boot? <laughs> now, <laughs> that's the problem with kidnapping Boy Scouts, they can untie themselves. <laughs> and, um,